Hey guys, welcome back to my channel San and Nastagi. And in this video, we will discuss what is the difference between seven mode and cluster mode NetApp. So for the expert, it may be a very simple question, but uh, for beginners, it uh, may be confusing because they may be starting their career from uh, cluster mode NetApp and uh, very frequently they may be hearing about seven mode. And also if you, you are preparing for an interview in NetApp and if you mention that uh, you have worked on both seven mode and cluster mode NetApp, then definitely you are going to get a question like what is the seven mode and uh, cluster mode difference. But before proceeding further, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately. Now a few days back, I asked a question in my channel, what is the accurate difference between seven mode and cluster mode NetApp? So there are 43 votes till now and uh, I have given four options. So 79% has to say that cluster mode is scalable and seven mode is not. So scalable spelling is wrong sorry for that and I had also given few other options so few people also have selected those options so in this video we will discuss what is the main difference and uh, we will also discuss what is the exact answer for this question the answer is seven mode is not scalable but cluster mode is scalable within this slide only you have your answer that is cluster mode is scalable and seven mode is not scalable. So what exactly the scalable means that we are going to discuss in next slide. So for uh, our question, the answer is cluster mode is scalable and seven mode is not. There are many other differences also you will see, but this is the accurate difference that everybody wants to hear. So what is scalable means? It means you can add resources to existing NetApp storage array. Or in more technical, we can say that you can add additional nodes or HA pair to existing storage array. So this addition you cannot do in seven mode NetApp, but you can do in cluster mode NetApp. So for example, if you have a seven mode NetApp in your existing environment and there is a need of more capacity, then you can of course add additional disk shelves and create aggregate of those from those disks and uh, meet the requirement of additional capacity but there is a limitation in case of uh, maximum capacity if there is a need of uh, capacity requirement beyond that limitation then you will have to procure a new seven mode setup you have to rack it you have to cable it you will have to do network configuration you will have to do ad integration if you need cfs shares or a lot of things are there that you have to do from scratch but in case of uh, cluster mode NetApp, suppose if, if you have a cluster of uh, two nodes, that is one HA pair, you can bring another HA pair, you can add cables to the inter-cluster switches and uh, the new nodes can be added to the existing cluster. And it does not take much time also, within one day, you can do all kind of setups. So like that, you can add multiple HA pairs in your existing cluster. So this is the main difference that differentiate a seven mode NetApp from a cluster mode NetApp. Now the question comes, what is the maximum number of nodes we can have in cluster mode NetApp? So in a cluster mode NetApp, you can have maximum of 24 nodes or you can have 12 HA pairs. Now, if you are using only NAS protocols that is uh, SIFs or NFS then 24 nodes but if you are using SAN protocol then the maximum nodes will be 8. Now with regards to this point there may be a confliction in some version as far as my knowledge is concerned it is 8 if you are using SAN protocol but if you have some different answer the, or any recent changes that has been made as per your understanding then put your comment in our comment section so that everybody will be aware of uh, the latest number of nodes that we can have in cluster mode NetApp in case of SAN protocol. Now I have already made a video on uh, NetApp architecture where I have explained what is the HA pair and how the HA pair is added to 
a cluster i will put a link in the description or you can also click on the i button and go to that video to understand the architecture of NetApp. So that's all for this video. Hope you understood the difference between a cluster mode NetApp and a seven mode NetApp. If you have any question, then you can put your question in comment section and I will try to answer it. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification about more such videos. Thank you for watching.